So Kroll and Manish got an international trade agreement going, so Manish is going to get extra stone and Kroll is going to get extra food. So he's back on the food production, but it's going to be a while before he can use this for anything. Kroll gets a temple, and that's it. Alright, he got hit by the uh, rebellion. Uh, Manish is next. Season event reveals scientific breakthrough, so I'm getting three science. And he's going to build up the Great Wall. So that's plus three military for him, some points. Yeah, he's starting to rack up points using Michelangelo. I'm not deeply worried because he doesn't have much of infrastructure. So Gordir finally finishes up his St. Pete's, probably one turn too late. Picks up strategy and researches it. So he's at 10 strength and a nice chunk of military actions. And he picks up a breakthrough. So I am next. I'm not going to see an event. I'm second to last, so any strength-based events, I won't benefit from them. And um, yeah, I don't think I need anything right now. So my original plan for the turn was to um, revolt and get this legion going. And um, I might still do that, but I do want to explore some alternatives. So one different thing I could do is I could get knights and set them up here. And that means that um, I'm slightly behind the military, but next turn I could get phalanx and go up to 13. And then also I have actions to pick up stuff, so I can actually get this efficient upgrade, this urban growth. And um, do I have any use for an urban growth 1? Um... Can I get scientific method? I might get scientific method actually. And um Yeah. So there's options there. I could actually go into Opera, although I don't have the people for that right now. So I don't know if I need that last urban growth. With that said, wasting two actions is not ideal. So I might do something like get irrigation for that. So that's a viable alternative. Um, I could also get it to fish the Eiffel Tower, but I don't see how I'm building it with three stones per turn. Yeah, so it's an option, but I really think that we just started H2, right? This is my first, my second turn in H2, I think. Um, yeah, I had one turn in H2, so this is my second turn in H2. Uh, we have quite a few more turns left, so I think now is the time to get my, my constitutional monarchy going, get the legion, probably a waste of two actions, um, since I will want to get phalanx. With that said, I might draw some other tactic. And um, I'm giving up on some yellows, which is a shame. Um, Kroll doesn't have much to do with either of these, uh, neither does Manish, to be honest, so... I mean, they might pick them up, and then Gordy doesn't get them. Nothing critical here to pick up, and um, by doing this, I might be able to snatch Ocean Line and Service. I might get an Engineering Genius. Um, there's still Coal as an option, and um, there's a Rich Land and another efficient upgrade to get there. Options like Reserves. Yeah, so I think getting Consmones now is good. I'm not behind, I'm not too behind on military. So let's do that. Uh, yep. Let's see what we come up with. Also, it slows down the, the game a bit. I'm not picking up any cards, so I'm going to get the most out of this. And I got a tactic, so um, so I might skip knights entirely and go straight into defensive army. We haven't seen any cannons yet, um, so that might be the way to go. Um, he doesn't have any infantry upgrades. He doesn't. Yeah, so I'm the only one who can use. Um, who can use uh, defensive army of just one upgraded cannon. So maybe that's that's what's gonna happen next.